Three years ago, we started doing French Drain video on YouTube because we were just so tired of what was available and felt that it was just horrible that the homeowners had nothing really good to look at as far as a good French drain. Now, this is a $143 million road project, and they're putting in burrito-wrapped French drains under it. This is going to help the longevity of this road, and this is current, too. This was just a few years ago. I shot this the very first year that we started doing videos for you guys, and we get our blueprint from the very same engineers that are responsible for these giant giant road projects so here's parallel french drains they're going to be burrito wrapped as you can see and i know there's a lot of handymen out there that are just really throwing the homeowner off and i feel so bad for the homeowner that falls for that that just goes out and gets a trencher and just puts in one of those uh, peanut drains. I mean, because they're garbage. They really are. Now, we've done a lot of design build. My whole life, I've worked off of prints, and drainage was always a part of each and every build. So when we decided to just move in the direction to do all drainage, that was after just decades of design build. So does this look familiar? just like that road construction that you saw. I mean, that was a $143 million road construction project in the north, and here we are burrito wrapping our French drain with the same commercial fabric, except we have ours punched a second time to up the flow rating. You can see we got the nice clean aggregate, no sand mixed in, and yeah, we've been showing you guys for three years. So now I'm going to go into something that is like a failed experiment. I mean, it's failed over and over and over again. And I just want to drive this home for our new subscribers so you don't get baited in to a French drain that quits and a French drain that has to be maintained. See how we put our pipe in on the bottom of the fabric? So did the road construction crew. $143 million stretcher road. Keep that in mind as we go through these because you don't want aggregate under your pipe. All right, so let's move on to some other video that I shot. Let's go through them one by one. I got a phone call to the office. Homeowner said that there was a drain put in by a contractor, it wasn't us, and it had floated to the surface of the yard water. And I thought they were crazy. I didn't know what they were talking about. So I'm here, the yard's flooded, and what they put in was the NDS Easy Flow. And it's buoyant because of the styrofoam. I mean, it makes a great life preserver, but it doesn't make a great French drain. All right, so I wanna compare the NDS Easy Drain, the peanut pipe, to one of our French drains. Now, did anybody ever really look hard at this to see just how much aggregate there is not? I mean, besides it being a very flimsy pipe that will collapse, and then when drains collapse, they no longer function, they no longer work. But look at there's no aggregate around this pipe to speak of. I mean, did anybody ever give this a good hard look? There is very little aggregate to move water. Unless you dig a hole, put this in it, and then pile more stone on it, which is kind of defeating the purpose on how they market this product. Now, if this product worked better than a good gravel French drain, we'd be using it. And I think you guys know that. You guys see what we build. You get an idea of what we're doing. You see how we're equipped. You know, you see the, the true trades that are installing. We're not handymen. All right, so this four slot staggered, and I'm talking it's practically just a knife cut. I mean, maybe that's all it is. I don't think it's, no, it doesn't have material removed. This is a four slot staggered. It's in these, uh, I mean, there's no aggregate to speak of. I mean, 
I guess, you know, I'm going to let our subscribers make their own mind up, but I mean, it's all very flimsy, very cheap. It's made out of trash, literally made out of trash, you know, and hey, I'm not opposed to that. It's just that, you know, I want my drainage systems to, to last forever. I don't want my customers to have to deal with all kinds of pain. Now, animals will dig this up and chew on it. They love this recycled restaurant containers, things like that. They got some sort of sense of smell that's 100 times better than ours, or 200 times, or 2,000, whatever it is. It's crazy. They dig it up and chew on it. Look, look at that aggregate. This thing measures 7 inches outside diameter, and this pipe is probably outside diameter 4.5 inches. So, I mean, you do the math. I mean, there's not a lot of aggregate and... I don't know, it's a garbage system. So I think there's like a about a square inch of inlet per foot where we have 17, over 17 inches of inlet per foot. And there's just no comparison. And then instead of just running one of those, because we have all these inlets in the pipe, understand that water moves through these pipes. You know, gravity carries it because these pipes have so much inlet that's what's great the water just flows right through now we're gonna obviously pack stone around these pack them tight lawnmowers whatever you want drive it over it you're gonna be fine it's Boffman tile so it's heavy duty got the heavy duty wall okay so three and a half decades here we are you guys see how we've progressed you see the quality of materials that we use we use the very best pipe we use the very best fabric and we are, we're always hunting down the very best good large wash stone. So we're educating our subscribers. We want you guys to build really, really good drainage systems for your homes. I want you to build a system that's maintenance free and I want you to build a system that lasts forever. Now my whole career, I move forward only, which means I go in on another job and we pound it in. I never have to go back to a job I did to clean out tree roots, to fix something that's not working as well and there's a reason for that we put our pipe at the bottom and that way we get rid of all the water no water is left behind for the trees and shrubs to sniff out where that peanut pipe it's got a little bit of aggregate under it let's face it and yes it's laying in water and the trees love it and that's why the handymen love it and you also got to use it with a catch basin so now you're treating your French drain like a garbage disposal. Now high octane has more inlet than any other pipe in the world and that's why it's such a heavy wall. See that's a commercial pipe for a professional grade contractor. Now there is an NDS peanut bag if you want to use one as a professional grade contractor and I'll show you that but I'll also show you the results of using one. I'm gonna let the contractor that had the bad experience Go ahead and take it from here. Now, here's what I want to take you to. This is a NDS Easy Flow. This was installed the same way around the perimeter. But because the aggregate here is lighter than the water, it's totally buoyant. And what has happened is after the sub pump stopped working, um, this was just allowed to be buoyant and it turned around and just pushed right up and popped out and this is all water that's in here right now so here it is again it's pushed up the NDS easy flow right up out of the ground here's all the water collecting in the footers you can see there's no water this is not a muddy area or anything it's literally come the water's coming from outside underneath the footer like I explained and then it rises back up and it's supposed to go into the pipe but if the pipe is more buoyant than the water it won't go in there if it's not pinned down so I'm not saying that uh, NDS doesn't have its place and it can't be used in a crawl space it's just not going to really save you the labor I think that they're claiming because you have to dig this down put six inches of dirt on it uh, to hold it down, but if it's clay soil or anything that doesn't percolate good, then all the water that comes from above the drain system is just going to flood out your crawl space still. So, it, so the only other thing you can really do is put a stone aggregate all the way on top of the NDS Easy Flow. At that point, you might as well 
just be putting in the stone to begin with. It's not saving you any time. Here's another picture. This is the water collecting here. It just popped this thing right up. So you have to have something that's holding this down. I'm not saying that it won't work and take care of your water or anything, but if you don't have this pinned down, weighted down, it will absolutely fail you. It will put, it will just float right up. Here's all the water in the footer. Here you can see the dirt that's on top of it from it being pushed up and everything. It's a little bit muddier here, uh, but uh, you want to open French drain in, in your crawl space every single time. You want to get the subsurface water and uh, you want to and you want to get the surface water. I mean, sh here it is again. Just there's the dirt on top as it just pushed right on up. You just never want that to happen. Look at all the water that's in the block here. Okay, what we did back in April, we filled up a bunch of five gallon pails with gravel. Good round rock, wash clean round rock. We did 10 feet of our drain and this was a real system in somebody's backyard. So this is what we build every day. And we filled it up to see how many buckets, five gallon pails of gravel, one of our uh, drains holds in a 10 foot run. And we compared it to the NDS 10 foot NDS easy flow and we compared their aggregate and I'm going to show you how it went down We're going to see how many five gallon pails full of gravel our system takes We're actually a few inches shorter than 10 feet and As you can see 14 inches all right Let's go. Let's give it a go We'll just start pouring them and just leave right leave the empties upside down. Okay. Let's do that first. Let's see. Wow, that's ridiculous. Holy. Okay, so. How many buckets did it take? Right now we're at 13. That's going to do it. That'll give us room to fold our fabric down. All right. Now we need to see how many. You know, this morning when we got here, the guys had to open this up. The guys had to open this up. Look at the water pouring out of this yard. Look at that. That is how much water has been running out of here for hours. It's in the subsurface of this yard. Well, when we got here, it was flooded and this NDS was floating around. This NDS easy drain that Scott's holding he grabbed it when it was floating by him. And uh, we, we think we know whose installation it's from, but in any case, we thought we would take the opportunity to cut this thing open and see how many five gallon pails from Home Depot will the poly rock in the NDS easy drain fill. So let's find out. I'm surprised that more guys haven't made the connection that an inlet basin company developed a styrofoam French drain. Corporate America, man, they, you got to give it to them. They know how to get the consumer's money. Now the results will speak in how much aggregate we have as far as how good a drain this actually is. I'm not saying it don't work. I'm just saying what we do is far superior to this. What is that? How many buckets? This is the first one so far. Hey, your aggregate's blowing away. I want this to be an accurate. All right, good.
We picked up every single polyrock. It's a fancy name for styrofoam. Man, what a messy job. Cutting one of them things open. You guys ever have that problem where your agar gets blown away? No. <laughs> Let's cut this piece of pipe off again. Oh my God. Just it, this is my opinion. I want to make sure of that because I don't want I don't want to get somebody's lawyer calling me. Okay, this is my opinion. This is one contractor's opinion. That styrofoam French drain is a piece of crap. Okay, just my opinion. I have a tendency to, you know, come right out and just tell you how I feel about something. What a pain. If I can do it all the fall, at least it'll come out of that end of the side. It's know? a bean bag. Those aren't peanuts. They're poly rocks. Okay, let's get this. What a joke. Now keep in mind we gave you this side by side example and comparison on a real French drain system. This is we're in somebody's yard. We're going to be running a lot of pipe here, but you see the main that goes to the storm drain. I love helping out the DIY, the homeowner. I, I want to educate them so they make a sound purchase in product and they take a proven blueprint, which ours is. A vein of stone lasts forever, in spite of what others want you to think, even when there's some wood in it. We can't fill these up to the top because the aggregate keeps blowing away. It's not wind resistant and it's very buoyant. Okay, yeah, just put your hands over the poly rock for now. Jeez, unbelievable. What a joke. What a joke. Okay, so three bags that, I'm sorry. Three buckets. <laughs> All right, so that's our test, man. That's our test. Three bags. I'm sorry, Nikki, because that's what I'm thinking. Three buckets of poly rock. And there's the drain. There's the carcass. Yeah, that's one NDS easy drain that's been violated. All right. <laughs> All right, so what was it? Total was 13 to 3. 13 to 3, right? Yep, so where I'm we just stand? Gonna throw these in the garbage if that's fine with you. Yeah, because man, this is this makes one hell of a mess. Alright guys, until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time. We're gonna keep it simple. You DIYers, stay tuned for more high octane.